All right, uh, Elliot wants to come in and say hello. Elliot often. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Looking Ooh. lovelier than I have ever seen him. Is he back to dressing like a woman? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Gigi says he's stuffing something into his crotch area to make it look like he has a big package. Yeah, the last couple of times we saw him, he was trying to be respectable. He wore a suit. Well, I was, that's over. I was really nauseous this morning. I quickly ate something so that I wouldn't throw up when Elliot came in. Because he doesn't make me feel a little weird. Well, he must be <laughs> fresh from that Madonna concert last night. Maybe he was there. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Elliot uh, has a questionable past. I have no idea what he's done. Yeah, we question. He won't answer. I know he's been in jail. Oh, look at you. Oh, oh my man. God. Magnificent. It's always great to see the genius, the unparalleled, unadulterated undeniable, unequivocal financial genius who has $100 million in the bank with a 100 million listening audience. Happy anniversary, Howard. Anniversary. <clears throat> this is the year anniversary of Elliot's first Hi, appearance. Robin, how oh, are you? Hello. Happy anniversary, Robin. One year ago, on July 25th of 2000, That's the unparalleled funny. genius of the worldwide media brought elegant Elliot Offen onto the show. It's 28 appearances later between K-Rock Radio, E-Channel Television, and Channel 2 Late Night CBS that elegant Elliot Offen has been seen around the country and around the nation. Howard, do you shave your chest? Um, I, Howard, here's the issue. I do. And you had said to me that you wanted to see chest. Yeah. You said to me you wanted to see the belly hanging out. So I'm here to prove right now to the genius of the worldwide media. Yeah. Here's the chest. Here's the chest. There it. Where's the headphones? I don't know. Go ahead. Put them on. There's the chest. There <laughs> is no. There is not a drop of body fat. And here's the. There's no girdle. Here's the panties. I want Howard to come out and show me the hangover. Oh my he always God. wanted to see if there's a hangover. Why won't you take off your top? It's right down. Right down. All right. Right down. There it is. Tell him to turn around. There you got to see these pantyhose. Turn around. Let me see your pantyhose. There Let me is. see your ass. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, my God. you got a big oh, ass. Damn. I do. I have a big, oversized, <laughs> wide, hot chick's ass. you got it right. Now, let me tell you about my brother. It's a very and you have breasts. Thank you. Oh, and you have, no, I mean, goodness. you have breasts. And, and Howard, not only do I have breasts, but watch me. I'm pounding. You can hear the pounding. It's like a brick wall. There's no body fat on this body over here, but the ribs are showing from the rib cage. Elliot, I know you wanted to make a few points, and I don't want to hold you no, back, but uh, if you could make them. <laughs> okay. And then, and then uh, also... I have $1,000 in cash that I'm leaving here without, with the genius's permission. Why? My brother Lloyd Offen, I was supposed to bring him How here. How did he get together $1,000? <laughs> but because, of how, because the genius of the worldwide media diametrically and radically changed the life of Elliot Offen, and for that reason, I am personally and forever indebted all right. to the king of let all me, media. Let me, let me listen. You're, you're, here's you're Lloyd Offen. Listen to me. Listen to me. Let me, let me help you out. Well, here's Lloyd Offen. He has a 175-pound tumor hernia. Right. Here it is. Casey, can you show this to the king of all, all right. media? Your brother is a homeless man. Can you show Howard the picture, please? All right. Let me, let me, let me say why you're here, okay. because what you'll end up doing is turning everyone off, because you'll keep talking. Okay. If All he right. talks, everybody will be turned off? Right. All right. Your brother obviously... Robin, I know you're going to giggle now, Robin. I knew you were going to giggle. How did I know you were going to giggle? Right, it's so obviously... great to see my dearest friend and one of the classiest gentlemen that I've had the, had the pleasure of meeting. Are Casey you... Armstrong is right next to me on my left. I was wondering who he meant. Casey Armstrong, one of my great um, fans and a, a, a fine gentleman. And I'm a person of impeccable integrity. All right, listen, like. the, 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 the point is that wow. Elliot has come on here. He, <laughs> he passes himself off as a nutritionist and, and a guy. And a fitness expert. And a fitness expert. And, it, and, and Howard can see the, the preeminent, pre, pre, the preeminent, predominant, and preponderant physical conditioning that elegant Elliot offers. Even the genius today is not saying anything negative because he sees them. He sees I'm Q10. I can't say anything to you He's, because you don't allow me to talk. Okay, but Howard, I want to give a thousand dollars out His because... skin all right. sags. They, yeah. I want to give a thousand dollars out Do because... Do you hear Robin my, said your skin sags? And your breasts oh, Ro Robin... I want, Robin, would you, would you kindly come out here so that we can compare bodies, your body and my body? I didn't uh, say I was oh, a fitness I know, expert well, in nutrition. Well, I, I know, Robin, that I'm pounding on my breast and, and nothing is happening. Oh, Robin, please. Robin, 
you know, I always thought you were a truthful person. I don't want to ever you believe. Uh, I don't want you to. I don't want to ever believe that you are a born liar or a convicted liar or a congenital a liar. habitual liar. Now, uh, speaking of that, <laughs> okay, now, there's a guy on the phone. Hold it before you go into your pitch here. There's I want guy to tell you phone. about Lloyd quickly in 30 seconds. Right. The first caller who can call in and identify where Lloyd Stewart. Often is right now. Your and brother. My brother. And take Elliot Often to Lloyd Often. Gets a thousand dollars in twenty dollar bills. I'm leaving it here in escrow. I have a lawyer's letter. I am so worried about Lloyd. I love my brother. He was supposed. When was the last time he's on? A day ago, and he was supposed <laughs> to come on to the show here. So he was going to tell the world that he's now going to let me put him in a home. Get him a hernia operation, take him to a doctor, buy him a whole new wardrobe. It was like a forty thousand, fifty thousand dollar ordeal. I was ready to spring for it. However, Lloyd vanished, and I'm very worried that God forbid he met with foul play in the last day. The first person who calls up, I'm not walking out of here with a thousand dollars. I'm leaving it here. Just call up, say you know where Lloyd is, and take Elliot Offen to Lloyd Offen. You've just earned a thousand dollars for ten minutes. Any K Rock caller, any one of Howard Stern's. What if uh, did he know order. Gary Condit, the congressman at all, uh, Lloyd Offen? Not often. Often. Often with a short did he know him? Often. Forget that. Did he know uh, Ellie? That's is it possible? I isn't it possible your brother died of embarrassment? <laughs> Howard, whatever it is, I'm leaving a thousand dollars here. So if anybody calls in now, also I wanted. To Don't you think Lloyd is hiding? Well, he could be hiding. Maybe so he's with Chandra. He could be hiding, but uh, nevertheless, I want to get to a very important issue. The <laughs> last time I was, I was on the last, last time, time you were on, I your... asked, I asked the world to produce the non compass mentis lobectomy. Non compass meant this lobectomy, ski mask, imposter. Right, I'm not going to listen to this. For a DNA I test, the where woman, is she? I believe the woman who was in here was your daughter. Well, where's the she, DNA test? She, she wants not nothing to do with you. Where's the DNA, DNA test? All right, well, she wouldn't show up. She wouldn't. I've been trying to figure out what your deal is. Now, there's some well, dude. Maybe you know this guy. He yes. claims he knows you. He's a detective. He says that he worked on your case and he doesn't like you. So let's find out once and for all why this guy doesn't like well, you, Elliot. Sure. Okay, Detective Don. Yeah, how you doing, Howard? How you doing, Detective? I'm doing pretty good. Listen, this, this seems to be a case of the inmates running the asylum here. Whatever. <laughs> Go ahead. Is this your show or his show? Detective, right. what, detective, what's your last name, detective, before before you get locked up, detective, because we don't believe you're a detective. What's your last name, detective? All, what's I'm your date of birth? What precinct do you work with? What's your name, Elliot, rank, Elliot detective? you don't allow anyone to talk. Okay. Maybe he would give his name. Okay, okay, go ahead. Detective, go ahead. Give your name. You abducted your daughter when she was three years old. You kept her locked up for seven years. How did you know that? Park. Somebody told you that? Hearsay evidence? How do, How I do know you know it? that? Know scum of the earth? Dregs of society, riffraff, scum of the scum and scum of the earth. Of Who told you that? You mean somebody told you that? Do you have physical evidence? Do you have, you have any? Do you have any smoking gun evidence? Well, let's hear what is. Let's hear what he's accusing you of. Let him answer the question. Harry Mason, let him talk. <laughs> it's like Pat anyway, Cooper now. <laughs> yeah, right. Who told you that? I got involved in this through the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. They reached out for us for assistance. So give your name. Give your first and last and name. Dregs of society. Well, detective, do you have any trouble giving your name? What's that? Thank you, I said, genius. Thank well, you, well, genius. Whoa, no, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Detective, do you mind giving us your name? No, not at all. Detective Don Calderon, retired detective, New York City. Police Department Intelligence Division. There you go. There you go. Is there any way, Don Calderon, that we, the genius or elegant Elliot Offen, can authenticate your authenticity? Here we go, the inmates running the asylum. <laughs> oh, so in other Detective, words, we can't authenticate let me your hear, authenticity. Let me hear the charges. Okay, sure. Or let's hear the charges. <laughs> let's hear the charges, Rip Go ahead. Bottom line is uh, how he, he abducted his daughter at three, told the daughter that the mother was dead, died of cancer. He kept her locked up. He had a begging in the street. He had a participating in his scams. Matter of fact, I'm glad that he said that he had $100 million in the bank because he must owe the IRS. No, he said, I have $100 million. I said oh. the king of all media. Oh. Brain Trust dead. me. Hey, Deffy, 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 Deffy you can't hear. I said the king of all media has $100 million in the bank. All right, all right, I corrected the detective. Let's hear this. Thank you, genius. Right. Thank you, genius. <laughs> But anyway, at the time we were looking for him, he was using the name Jack Gordon. Matter of fact, he had a flaw. Yes, I was. I was using the name Jack Gordon. Boy, is Jack do, Gordon going to be pissed? I did do a multi-million dollar scam bust out. That was 20 years ago. I have reformed, rehabilitated, rejuvenated my life in every aspect. 
Yes, it was a learning experience, and I'm going to be the most exemplary and outstanding and upstanding citizen for the rest of my life. Elliot Scum does... Of the earth. Elliot Scum does of the earth, detective. Detective, please. You don't have to say that. Uh, this is a hard-working detective. Uh, <laughs> hard Elliot does detective. say that uh, he is responsible for his past, but he has changed now into a cross-dressing uh, nutritionist. <laughs> Jogging. Yes, matter of fact, how I have you, a video. How, how would you have this phenomenal jail, sense of humor? Strip tease for other inmates. What? And what is that, detective? We have a video of him doing a strip tease for other inmates. I'd love to. I'd love. Oh, I'd love. Wow. Now there's some punishment. Get oh. that. <laughs> I'd, I'd love to. I'd love to did see the video. Did you strip for be, other inmates? And that could be confirmed. No, what I, what, with, uh, what I did, what I did, brain dead. What I did, brain dead. Brain dead. Wait, well, let me hear what the officer is charging you with. Go ahead. Yes, officer. Did you, call, did you speak to Robert yet? Who's Robert? Robert Rand. Who's that? He is the infamous off. Author. The man can't the speak. He has no coordination Hold between the cows. Hold it a second. He's an author. What? He is an author and an expert on the Elliot Hoffman case. Really? Howard? Yes, uh, he Benji. He's on line three. He's on. He's, well, you'll hear more. You'll hear, you'll hear more. This guy is an intelligent man. You'll hear more. Yes, you'll hear more. Right, this guy's an more. intelligent man. Robert, go ahead. You'll hear more. Good morning, Howard. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, tell me, I always want, I'm always curious about Elliot. Uh, he does admit that he had a, a, a terrible past, but he claims that uh, he's all cleaned up. What do you, what do you have the, to answer? Not, not, only, not, only clean, not only cleaned up, Howard, for the last 10 years, every law enforcement official between Florida and New York can substantiate and corroborate in good faith with good intention and, and good will. Well, Elliot, are Elliot, you... Elliot often is a role model citizen. Do you know Robert Rand, an Emmy-winning reporter who did an expose on your crimes in the late 80s? Do you know this guy? I, I don't know this person at all, and I don't know this to be true at all. No, I well, don't. Elliot, uh, you and I uh, spent about 30 hours together in the Broward oh, County wait, Jail. I'm sorry, excuse Back me. in 1989, okay, I wrote a wait, story about okay, you for the Miami Herald. Excuse Herald. me, I didn't hear you. How do you spell your last name, sir? Hey, Elliot, shut up. How do you spell your last name, sir? R-A-N-D. Oh, yes, absolutely. Well, good morning, Mr. Elliot. Mr. Good morning, Mr. Rand. This yeah, man did come to the jail, and he did a, a, a feature magazine story in Tropical Magazine on my crimes and how I um, heisted like $30 million in merchandise. Yes, you did all of that, and it's, I haven't spoken to you in so long. Nice to talk to you again, Mr. Rand. A pleasure to speak with you, Elliot. And so the, now, what uh, has Elliot done? Well, Elliot was uh, known in Florida not as Elegant Elliot, but uh, they called him King Khan, uh, the Florida <laughs> Department of Law Enforcement. <laughs> Said that he was Robert, the king of the bust out artist. Why are you giggling? Funny. Robin always has to giggle. King oh, Khan. It's not funny. King Khan. No, it's not funny. It was very serious. King Khan, like, listen. Like King Khan, like let, let me hear what the, okay. he has to say. Go ahead, right. Mr. Rands. Okay. Well, Elliot uh, was known as the king of the bust out artist. Yes, uh, John Coffey from the Florida Department That's of Law exactly Enforcement right. called Elliot. This man the happens to be a gentleman. One of the best con men they've ever seen. Yes, go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. And. He uh, appropriated about 10 to $15 million, uh, ripping off uh, various businesses uh, all over the country. How did he do it? Yeah. And oh what he God. would do, he, Elliot would get uh, companies Mr. Rand, don't, to... you think, don't you think I should explain that? No. Because you don't know the no, details. No, 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 let Mr. Yeah. Rand do it. Well, I might be able to do it a little more concisely, Elliot. Thank you. Uh, he but would, do you know uh, the details wait, of how I orchestrated Let me hear it. Oh okay, go ahead. go ahead. Elliot Mr. would Rand. order a small amount of goods... Uh, from a company, uh, say $10,000 of light bulbs from General Electric, he would pay it off uh, very overnight with that, a cashier. That's wrong, but you, you didn't tell Howard and the audience that they want to hear how I orchestrated this from the inceptance, from the ground floor, Bob. You didn't tell them that. I'm By sorry, By the way, Bob. King Kong looks like a Queen Kong today. <laughs> well, the last time I saw Elliot, we were together at the Broward County Jail uh, videotaping a uh, TV story that followed my magazine piece. And Elliot was uh, dancing, Doing exotic dancing uh, inside in the jail. The jail. That's well, right. I got to tell you, Robert, I don't know when's the last time you spoke to Elliot, but uh, Elliot uh, comes in here today, says he's reformed, and also uh, trying to help his uh, homeless brother. Do you believe it, Robert? Well, the last time I saw his homeless brother was on Queens Boulevard in 19. Oh, is this is this the degenerate? Is this the degenerate detective who's on right now? This is the detective, not a degenerate. Why would you call him a degenerate? Because, what did he do wrong? Because of the accusations and the allegations and the bad faith that he's come on. He didn't come on the phone here like Mr. Bob Rand with good faith to try to tell the story the way it was accurately. He came on to the story to try to diminish and defame and use inflammatory comments about elegant Elliot Offit. Did you ever call, uh, Detective, you claim that Elliot used to call his daughter and ask her about her breasts? His daughter... Was His daughter was incarcerated, yes. In a home for neglected and abused children in Connecticut. 
She was there for many months. She didn't even know who she was. And mm. we found out who she was, and we brought the mother up and reunited the mother. Why don't you tell the story the way it happened? Pneumocystic, carinii, pneumonia victim, PCP I don't have victim. Time to tell the story. But the way it happened was, the way it happened was, well, when, we were, arrested, when we were arrested, when we were arrested, when we were arrested.